everyone, it is nice to see you all again. I know I've been away for a bit and I am now back. Um, I did talk about everything in the video, so yeah, just stay tuned for that. I will definitely um, be telling you what I've been feeling lately and what's been going on. Um, but I am done with uni, thank you Jesus. I do have to wait for my results and my last one was a bit iffy but you know, just pray to the Lord that I do pass. I know I have passed but I just want a good grade, you know. Just before I go, I wanted to just do something a bit different and I wanted to give a shout out to another YouTuber today which I have really been enjoying to watch and uh, they're just such positive people, especially um, the person who actually makes the videos. Um, but they're both like really positive people but anyways the channel name is Emily Hayward I hope I'm saying that right her surname but yeah it's Emily and Aisha they're like a couple and um, she does like these vlogs and she's just really positive and she's just like a breath of, breath of fresh hair like she doesn't just so show like positive but she shows things where she's struggling with and I really appreciate that and I feel that very, I find that very relatable because you know, we all have our down times and it, it, it doesn't make you feel alone and I just feel like when she shows a bit of everything, not too much, but she shows a bit of, you know, up her ups and downs and how she comes about to, you know, make herself, like, feel better and stuff because um, she is going through some stuff herself. Like, she has got cancer, that's one of the main things of her videos and she's going strong and I just really love her videos, I love them both, they're such amazing people and Aisha says such powerful words sometimes, it's so weird because my sister's name is called is Aisha but I just really have been appreciating their videos and I feel like I needed that bit of positivity and that realness. I just wanted to show some love to her and Aisha, they have recently got married which is amazing so please 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 go show them some love, they're just such amazing people. So yeah make sure to go show her some love, tell her I sent her and I hope that it really just makes a day and yeah and trust me you will love her videos like she's really really sweet so if Emily does ever watch this I hope you are doing great and <laughs> I really love your videos and stay strong because you are really inspiring to me so yeah I know I'm really awkward aren't I <laughs> um so yeah I'm gonna head off guys I actually have to go meet my friend um I hope you guys will enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it Oh, and it actually feels so weird filming. Hello! It actually feels so weird filming right now. Please mind my cat. We're trying to make him an indoor cat, which I will explain later why. And he is meowing like nothing. We've even bought him like a really big cat tree so he's not bored. And, you know, he's just trying to adapt. And he's very vocal. My cat is very, very vocal. So today I'm just going to go out to meet my bestie bestie at Nina um, just to go out and eat so I thought let me just film myself getting ready. Um, I've definitely been in a weird mood lately which is why I haven't been filming. Um, I mean it's only been almost two weeks I haven't posted which is not that long. Just over a week. It's not that long to be honest but for me it's long because if you know me then you know I film very often and I post a lot every week um, but I obviously had my exams and I finished on Thursday but I thought I thought when I finished on Thursday I would film back to back to back to back and post so much on Instagram and on YouTube but I was in such a rut and in such a weird mood that I just stayed in bed for like three days straight, watched 13 Reasons Why season 2 which we need to talk about as well but anyways let me stop rambling. I've already feel kind of filled in my brows. I do feel like I don't know how to do makeup anymore. I just need to get into the hang of it. Um, I already feel like my eyebrows aren't matching. So the thing that I used for my brows was the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in black, Blackest Brown. And then I'm gonna use my, use my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer to carve out my brows. Okay, so what do I start with? I can definitely say that um, these past two weeks have been really tough for me, I guess. Which has made me think a lot and um, I don't know. I've just been feeling really, really weird, especially the past few days. I've been really, really low and just thinking a lot and I don't know. I've had my exams for the past two weeks. I had four in total. Um, and I get really, really, really stressed around exam times. Like, really stressed. Um, and I had so much to do 
a side that was in my mind that I was like, oh my god, I need to do like house stuff and you know things for my mom that I needed to do, um, and that was kind of like in my mind. Um, that's my brows done. I'm just gonna jump onto um, some of the um, Benefit Brow Setter Gel just to set my brows in place. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really stressed, and I mean you can just say I'm st I've been stressed, but literally just before my exams we'll just we'll just start with the biggest thing that really 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 did some funny things to me um when i not last week but the week before when the week when my exams were supposed to start on the wednesday on sunday my brother came like banging on my door in the morning really oh. early in the morning sorry that's my brother playing his game like we're just really happy it's summer now and he's just playing his games but um he came banging on my door and he was like, Sky's really hurt. And I thought, Sky's my cat, by the way, the little one, the tabby. And she's kind of like the baby of the house. She's super small, like she doesn't grow. And um, she's just like the little baby of the house. Like even my dog protects her so much. She doesn't even care about the big one, Titi, who's the massive cat. My dog just protects the little one so much. Yeah, so he tells me that she's really hurt. And I thought like, they always come, they're outdoor cats, but Sky doesn't really go out much. Um, but I was, but sometimes when she goes out, she gets like a little eye infection, or sometimes she, someone someone scratched her on her face or on her ear. You know, it's just a little thing. But and I thought it was that. I was like, okay, it's fine. Let me just go down. I went down, and I kid you not. I literally thought I was in a nightmare. Like I couldn't, I can't even explain how I felt. And if you're not a big animal lover like I am, then you won't understand. If you don't. The way I feel about my animals, it's just really, like, I just have such big love for them. Like, I literally went down, she was behind the curtain, so I pulled off the curtain. She turned around and looked at me, and I kid you not, her face. It was like, I knew what happened. Like, I knew what, look, like, I'm getting emotional just talking about it. Let me just take a second, I don't want to cry. I'm just going to go into my skin while I get myself together. But anyways, um... I opened the curtain and she looked at me and literally like I was just like my heart dropped I felt like so broken inside for her she looked like she was in so much pain and um, I didn't know well I looked at her and I, I was like it's a car definitely a car that hit her and I knew that she, well I looked at her and I knew her jaw was broken I was like her jaw is broken right now because she couldn't close it and I've watched so many like animal safe rescue videos so I kind of, I'm not saying I'm a vet but like it just looked familiar to what I've seen in previous videos and I was just like her jaw's broken, her whole face was so swollen, her eye was weird and it was all on one side and she was bleeding and she had blood in her ear so I was like oh my god what she's got brain bleed or something like that or pressure in her brain and I was just so broken. So we brought her to the vets and they were like, it's probably a car. Um, and she's got a broken jaw. And like literally when he told me that I broke down, I was so, I just can't even explain how I felt. And even my mom was there and she was really upset as well. I'm getting upset about this, but because she's okay now. She's getting better, but I don't know, just thinking about but I spoke to my brother, my, the oldest one, and he was just like, you should just do a video talking about how you feel, because, I don't know, it's, I share a lot of my positive stuff, but we don't always have positive times, and I think it's important to show down times as well. Anyways, he said, um, so when we kind of figured out a plan, she, um, we did blood tests, full blood tests, a full blood body x-ray and everything that needed to be done and thank you god. We are just so lucky, she was so lucky as well, I don't know what the hell happened to her but her whole body was fine, I mean she did miss some nails, like she had some nails pulled out. Sorry I'm using my Fenty Beauty primer by the way. And um, yeah we did everything that needed to be done and everything was fine, She did. they did see that she had a broken jaw but it was like from what he said he said it was broken in the best possible place so it was just like a straight cut of a bone there and it was really easily fix fixable like we didn't have to um, do like this major major bone surgery 
I had to go then find, this is two days prior to my exam by the way, I had to bring her back and forth to the vet so many times and obviously it's her, like I would I would do it, like I would do it over again but um, I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation, I'm talking so much I need to get ready. Um, so I had to find an orthopaedic surgeon that would do the jaw surgery because the one I had didn't doesn't do that and he didn't have the equipment to do it. He said he could do it but he didn't have the equipment. So I found one not close from home and he actually took her in straight away and did the surgery on the day and um, um, it wasn't really easy for her because she couldn't really eat easily but she had she wanted to eat she was so strong honestly and I had to hand feed her every day give her meds um, just watch over her because I was really worried and then um, yeah she she got better and um, she's still healing now. And I just think about it and I'm just like, we are just so lucky, like, how this turned out. I really, the second vet did suggest that someone may have kicked her in the face, like, a malicious act against her. And I really do feel like it's that because I don't see how a car can just hit you, can hit such a small cat's head like that and have that impact. Like, it makes no sense to me. And it, I don't see her falling like that and breaking her jaw. So I really feel like someone kicked her in the face. Um, that's, I've thought about so many outcomes, but I think it's really that. And then next week, I had two exams gone by. And then in the next week, I had to bring her back because um, she had this massive gaping wound on her neck, like underneath, and I was so worried. So we rushed her back in again, and apparently it was just like an infection abscess that she managed to pop, but it was good because it, it was like draining. Um, but anyways, that has really made me think like we are made me think of like why am I moaning about the stupidest things ever you know we're just so lucky that we won't manage to do this for her because you guys know vet bills are crazy and um, I'm just so grateful that I have my family that's so supportive and that always helps me whenever I need it just feel really grateful honestly um, so now she's just healing, she's back to her old, her normal self, like when I look at her I can't believe like that's actually her, like it's, she's, her face is back to normal, I mean she is a bit swollen around here but they're gonna take it back, we're, they, we're gonna bring her back in to check because um, she does have a wire in her mouth at the moment. I do feel a lot for my animals and um, like now they're not, they're never going out again, like we've blocked the pet door. Mm. Um, it's really hard but I just don't want to risk it and again like even the next day after Sky got hurt Chi Chi came back with kind of like a limpy leg um, I don't know what happened but he's fine now like he's fine um, but that to me was like a sign to not let them out anymore and Chi Chi loves to go out like that's his everything and I feel like it's not worth it it's not there's some really really mean people around my I mean everywhere but around my ends there's some dodgy people and I really feel like someone kicked her so I don't really want them to be outside anymore even like my brother's just like don't let them out it's just too risky and I agree like you just never know what goes on out there so yeah that's what's been going on that was the major thing that really bugged me then I just had some problems with family and um, that kind of got me thinking as well and I've just been thinking about myself like just think how grateful I am. Sometimes I went through a phase where like, why do I have all this? Why do I deserve everything that I have? Um, like why? Some people don't have anything and um, I just, just been thinking a lot. I've also just been turning my phone off. Like I just, just turn my phone off and I just stay in my own corner. I've been watching shows, talking to my like my siblings a lot. I want to get back into the rhythm of things and I just want to make content because that that's what really makes me happy. I, I might seem like a little bit down. I'm trying, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm just, I've just been thinking a lot. I didn't think I was going to get emotional in this video, honestly. I also watched... Um, 30 Reasons Why and that show really like I feel really sensitive towards it because it's so relatable for me 
not for like the worst things but there's some scenes in there which I've been through and it, it it makes I don't know it's crazy to think that so many people go through that and I feel like it's a good thing that they talk about it because I felt like when stuff like that happened to me it was my fault it was like I don't know anyways um, I just feel like I've seen the like the reviews on the second season and some people say it's useless like they just didn't do much but I feel like they focus more on how like committing suicide is not the way to go and that they focus more on like recovery and how there's always people there to help and more of the aftermath of what could what would happen if you did do something like that do you know what I mean and this thing about uh, um I don't want to give any spoilers actually but um yeah there's more about like how there's how you can help yourself and there's there is a there is a way out you know like throughout the whole thing I'm just like can I just the first season I was just like I just want to give Hannah a hug but I really really liked the um, second season it was very 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 messed up in the sec in the last episode I was just like do people actually do that I was just like what the hell's going on I'm just blending my contour. I use the Fenty sticks in um, suede and espresso. I really like these because they're just so easy to work with. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the second season. If you haven't watched that, in reasons why, I definitely recommend it. It's just a really, really good season, a, a really good show. But you have to watch it from the first season because otherwise you'll just be really confused. And I, I really want to see what they're going to do for the third season. I feel like it's a really, really good show. I just hope they don't ever, like, cancel it because I really like it. I'm just using my Kat Von D loose setting powder. Just make sure that I, um... Are everywhere in the center because that's why I get really oily and I'm just going to use some of my the balm cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I think I'm just going to go with this shade I just want something really simple on the eyes something to brighten it up okay I'm just going to brush off the excess what else has been going on I really want to go in Mauritius and see my grandma, like, I really do want to see her, like, she did have, um, she wasn't feeling well and she went through some stuff and that was kind of, like, stressful because I was like, I really want to go see her and I do want to go see her but I'm planning to go next year, um, but I'm just really happy to just be here filming, like, it feels nice, I just want to get a new mic and just change it up a bit, I might get a white background and just film with a white background i'm also going to use some of this 17 medium bronzer i'll link everything in the info box but it looks like this oh and i did get acrylic nails should we talk about that i am not one to get acrylic nails Let's see. i got this like ombre kind of thing and it's just like got glitter on the tip i got like the coffin shape it feels really weird like I do have to say it's very hard to do everyday activities when you have long ass nails like that but I feel really like girly and you know you know I just wanted to treat myself after my exams so I just went and got my nails done but I feel like next time I would just get um, just a normal straight square and just a normal colour like a opaque colour I might go for matte nails next time I don't know Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some blusher. I'm gonna use my LA Girl blush in Just Peachy. Look, I'm struggling to open my stuff, but this is what it looks like. It's just a super pretty blush. Then I'm gonna use some highlight. So I'm gonna go for the Makeup Forever. Pro Light Fusion in number two. Just want to put a little bit, not too much. My skin has been pretty awful lately because of all the stress. Like it got, it was breaking out. My face was so itchy. Um, but I think it's on its way to recovery. I'm also gonna use some of this Bobbi Brown Illuminate Moisture Balm. This is a golden glow. It's so pretty.
It makes the skin look really wet and nice. It's actually such a nice product. I don't know. Do I do I look like I'm in a weird vibe, guys? Let me know. But um, and let me know if you do like it when I open up like this, because I I don't. I mean, I do share quite a lot, but I was a bit weird about this because I always share like positive stuff, and this is more like sad. And I'm still trying to like figure myself out, but you know, I feel like talking to people and you know just thinking just really helps. So that's what I'm doing. You know. I'm also reading a lot of prayers as well, weirdly enough. I don't, I mean, I'm not really like a big religious person. I do believe in God, but anyways. <laughs> I'm going to use some of my Zoeva black coal pencil. And then for mascara, I've got my Miss Baby Roll mascara by L'Oreal. I'm going to put some lashes on. I'm going to use the Noelle Lashes by Huda Beauty with the glue. Okay, while my lash, my lashes are drying, I'm just going to use some of my MAC Cork Lip Pencil. And then I'm going to use some of my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Bikini Babe. It's like a really light nude. I really like these because they're like super lightweight and I don't feel them, or like especially when I'm eating and stuff. I feel like I struggle to put lashes on when um, I don't do like a liner. I'm just going to let that dry for a bit. I'm actually just going to put a bit of suede. Yeah, that's better. I really like to use uh, the matchsticks as a dipstick. I think I'm done, guys. I am going to head off. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of like chit chat get ready with me um, and yeah I'm gonna start planning amazing videos to come out in the week and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much Mwah.